Hello and welcome back once again to Mom's Cooking Diary. Today we are making another quarantine meal here uh, based off of some things that I was able to get at the grocery store. I'm going to call it creamy chicken pot pie. It's kind of a spinoff of a Betty Crocker recipe that I found on Pinterest um, that is called beef pot pie with potato biscuit crust. Um, so instead of beef pot pie here we're making chicken pot pie so to kind of start we are going to go ahead and melt two tablespoons of butter down in my skillet over medium high heat we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 375 degrees and then we are going to spray down a pie pan with some cooking spray all right, our butter is melted down and I'm going to make a roux by adding two tablespoons of flour to my melted butter here. Then we are going to stir this all together to get it to incorporate and cook down the flour for just a minute or two. While we're cooking down the flour, we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to add some black pepper, some garlic salt, and some Cajun Creole seasoning just to add a little bit of kick to this. And we're gonna stir it all together, let it cook with the flour for just a minute and let those uh, flavors and seasonings meld together. Next, we're going to add what I'm gonna call about a third of a cup of milk here. And then I'm going to whisk that with a whisk to get all the clumps out. Um, yeah, my measurements here were very exact. I just put a really good sized glug in here. Now I'm going to use some vegetable broth because that was the broth that I was able to find at the grocery store. Uh, chicken broth would also work and I'm gonna put that in here. And then I was gonna get started on the biscuits here and so that I'm just going to take a small bag of instant potatoes and throw that in the bowl. My roux here already got nice and thick and bubbly so I'm gonna go ahead and whisk that together now and add the broth about the same amount about a third of a cup of broth this is essentially going to be like our gravy so we want that to be nice and creamy and delicious uh, once that gets all nice and bubbly we are going to stir it all up and let that continue to simmer and I'm going to add two cans of premium chicken breast here why I can't find chicken at the grocery store. I was able to find canned chicken, so we're gonna use that. And so we're gonna throw in two cans of drained chicken breast and kind of break up the clumps and stir that together. Let that kind of simmer. Now I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of hot water. And um, if you want an exact measurement for the mashed potatoes, that's about two thirds of a cup of mashed potatoes and hot water. And then we're stir it together to kind of get it to incorporate. Next, I'm going to add one and a half cups of Bisquick. And then we're going to put in a third of a cup of milk. However, I see here that my chicken is boiling pretty good. So we're gonna call that done and go ahead and add that to the pie pan over here. Scrape it on down, get all of that deliciousness in there. Now that might look really runny to you, but that's perfect because um, these biscuits we're gonna throw on top after we get it all mixed in here and it's gonna suck up a lot of that moisture. So we've got the potatoes, the bisquick, the milk and stir that all together and then we're just gonna pretty much blob it on top. Think of it as a dumpling. I suppose that's a good way to think of this. It could be a pot pie thing. It could be a creamy dumpling kind of thing here. The original recipe did call for deli roast beef and some mixed vegetables in this and then beef broth instead of chicken broth. Um, so that's one way you could do it. And now we are going to go ahead and throw this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Um, oh, and now it's been, it's done. We're gonna pull it all out and nice and bubbly here. And then we're gonna plate it up. Another variation I've done with this is kind of like a biscuits and gravy kind of deal is I uh, browned some breakfast sausage and then threw in some flour and milk and then put the biscuit on top too. This is probably my family's favorite way to eat this though. So we got some biscuit, we're gonna throw some of that delicious gravy chickeny goodness over the top. And in a moment here, I will zoom in so you can see how awesome this looks. This is so good. It's kind of like if you go to Popeye's and get the Cajun fried chicken with some mashed potatoes and biscuit, it's so good. 
All right. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.